Happy Sunday. Jamesy is uh, playing with some bluey characters contently. I got him a little snack, some tomatoes. We had quite a just lazy morning. Um, just hanging out, but we're getting ready. We're getting active. Our lunch before we head out for our night out. These yummy roasted veggie plant-based sausage rice bowls. Peter whipped them up. Hey, are you, are you well rested, boy? We are here, we are here, we are here. We love this gift shop, the Boardwalk's gift shop. And so since good. we were like, in the moment of like waiting for friends, tired children yesterday, uh, one child old enough to be like, I want that, I want that, I want that. He's snoozing right now. He falls asleep on the drive here. Mm -hmm. So now this is our relaxing stroll while Teddy is trying to keep himself awake. <laughs> we're meeting up with the Earhart. We actually don't really know what we're gonna do yet. The original plan was studios. Yeah, but it's been a little drizzly, but it's kind of like cold down, so. We'll see, we actually both got hot beverages. We got a coffee, so we got a chai tea latte, and we're gonna stroke. Crossroads of the world. We've made it in Hollywood Studios. <laughs> We're in Hollywood Studios. Sarah's getting Teddy cleaned up and freshened so we can have lots of fun. Um, I'm hoping the cloud cover stays. It's getting late enough where the sun might not break through these clouds and it might make a very peaceful night. We have made it to Hollywood Studios. How did I not know that there was a year-round Santa in this park? Kieran. Where are we going? Um, are you gonna take a nap during it? No. I am. No way, we already took a nap. Let's see the new magic band. Karen just got hooked up with a magic band plus. Classic Star Wars. Love it. There's Love it. a fans of puppets. They're not gonna nap. I know. I am I am and Teddy are gonna nap. Come on, James, we gotta go to the, the show. We got one minute until showtime. Last call, we made it. Woo. We got a bottle for Teddy. Hopefully he snoozes. I don't need a bottle to snooze, but I wouldn't mind one. Wow. Are you so excited? Get the lion, get the lion. Get it feels right that my children gravitate to the Christmas. It's a wonderful shop in all the snow. See a snowman? You're sliding down the, the snow. So it's a wonderful shop is also still closed. One day, hopefully it'll come back. Woo! Bunch of hooligans over there, bunch of hooligans. It's not every day you go to Hollywood Studios to just go on Muppets, but sometimes that's what the cards are dealt. We also walked back so that Teddy could fall asleep and stay as a champ. Got him to sleep. And uh, it's not raining. So we have the air hearts in front of us. Gonna kind of like TBD the rest of the night. Yeah. Words of Abacadabra were spoken as yeah. a possibility. But like, the crazy thing is like, we used to have like, so much fun with their kids. And so it's so cool that like, our kids can play together. And let like, we had to be like, kind of got to get Teddy down for a nap, so we're going to walk yeah. a little behind. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's one of those instances like, I wish I could have told 2018 Peter and Sarah of this moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the rain has slowed down, but we've been able to seek some refuge. At Abracadabra. Not inside, as little. I mean, it was raining, so a lot. Well, it's busy, than. but also we've had a massive party. We do. We have 10 humans <laughs> um, and a sleeping child. So, so that actually works out great. So we have a, a non alcoholic magic mirror. 
And this is my favorite non-alcoholic drink on property. I think it beats the lava smoothie even in my heart. It's oh my so God. tasty. An old fashioned. And yeah, mine has a little bit of mango in it and a little bit of pop. Party animal. He's a party animal. <laughs> He's eating he some snacks. Said. Cheers. <laughs> That's right, so we got our charcuterie plate, some French fries. Ooh. Have we show the folks. Cheers. <laughs> I'm recruiting here in the Palace. Oh, good. How are you? All right, we're gonna leave the fun of the boardwalk and all the fun entertainment. I don't know what the Earhart's are doing. They might go chill. But we, the Brookharts, are going home to set ourselves up for a very busy but very fun-filled week. Right? Let's get in the fall vibes with a Gilmore Girls playlist. Look at these cozy kids. Are we tired? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. Just, just a quick snuggle. So it is the following night. I just finished up editing the Hollywood Studios and Boardwalk vlog with the Air Hearts. I realized we did not sign off and it was kind of a shorter vlog. So um, I decided I'd give a little update from today. We did not vlog today. We did have a busy day, um, but it was just full of appointments. And I actually did a lot of just like updates. Um, in the moment on Instagram. So if you're not following us on Instagram, I'm hoping to be a little bit more active there, especially on days that we aren't vlogging. Um, anyways, I had my very first monitoring appointment for the frozen embryo transfer. Um, like we said before, that's what we're prepping for that. I've been on letrozole to stimulate my hormones and dexamethasone, which is a steroid basically just like suppress any inflammation and just get my body ready to keep a little baby cozy so uh, i went in and i had an ultrasound done and that showed that my lining was at about a 6.3 um it's measured in millimeters and before like we do our transfer we want it to be above seven close to eight like eight to twelve essentially um to really be nice and cozy for that embryo to snuggle in. So I did get a call in the afternoon that they want that to be a little bit thicker. So we are gonna go back in two days for another monitoring appointment. I did also have blood work done. My estrogen and my progesterone were right where they're supposed to be. So hopefully that stays all good and my lining thickens up. Um, pomegranate juice helps, so I'm doing that. And then I also have a handful of stretches that really increase the blood flow to the uterus and again, just like build up that lining. Um, so I had like a decent amount of appointment anxiety today, but I'm just grateful we got good news. It was not like, obviously like I could have received better news, like everything looks great, let's go. But this is just, you know, the very first appointment. This is why I really like our clinic because they don't just like estimate what day you're going to have a transfer. They really base it off of the data and the facts that like come from your appointments and the monitoring. Um, and so I'm grateful that they have a watchful eye and I'll go back in two days and get some extra, um, extra information and hopefully it'll be good then and then we'll really have like a date and I'll start progesterone and oil shots I have all the medication laid out right here on our bathroom um, counter and then the other appointment we had was Evie got a haircut and she looks really cute so I'll show her before I sign off I want to show everyone your haircut <laughs> you look so beautiful look at that little bow they had on her so cute she always looks like a puppy again when she gets her hair cut. All right, you want to sign off? <gasps> Why are your ears back? <gasps> what do you hear? It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions.